to Tights TV. Uh, Bounds of this morning uh, confirmed on their website that head coach Poya has by Argy, uh, I think that's how you pronounce his surname, <clears throat> has been appointed head coach this morning. He's put pen to paper on a deal, unsure how long the deal is for. He was in charge for the Sweden under-21 games last night, I believe, against uh, Ireland. Following that, been rumoured strongly linked that he was going to be going to Barnsley. He was also in contention back in 2019 with uh, Struber, but at that moment in time, it wasn't seen that he was uh, suitable. But having experience with IFK Gothenburg and other teams in Sweden as well, uh, Bounds have obviously seen time, the time is right now to approach him, which we have done, been in talks. What I can find out a bit about him is he's going to be fetching his Frank, uh, sorry, Ferran Sibylla, who was his assistant at Gothenburg, uh, is a 33 year old Spaniard. Uh, whether any more backroom staff going to be coming over, it's unsure at the moment. But this morning, breaking news is that um, he has signed a deal. Believed to be not in charge, he's not going to be in charge for the game on Saturday. Joseph Lowman's going to be taking game against Fulham. With uh, Poye apparently going to be taking the training sessions and that Monday 22nd. So whether he's got to go back and type a few wins uh, back in his home own uh, country I don't know whether he'll be at the game at Fulham to watch and oversee it I don't know whether he's going to be down at training ground watching some of the lads and that I don't know uh, just what's come out uh, it's on the official club website uh, Khalid has gone on to say welcome player and friend of the club both are good people talented coaches with a clear leadership and tactical philosophy and I think that's what we need in a, a clear leadership a clear tactical philosophy Getting something in, in, you know, in set up and in stone. <clears throat> He's got a massive job on. Um, wish him all the best. Like we do, we all manage what's going to be coming into the club. Worry on people's, you know, forefront to, you know, up there uh, originally. No, but it's coming into the club, so I'm going to get behind him. And as well as what we've got to get behind him as well, as his fans, the players have as well, but more importantly, so as the board. So we will welcome him in. We will welcome his assistants in. The players, all being well, are going to be you know going to be training him and meeting him and getting some kind of tacticals and uh, philosophy going forward. Uh, take it forward. Uh, confidence, big big thing. Um, so it's going to be a massive massive task for him, uh, considering where we are at the moment in the league. But although we've got to give him, you know us as fans give him our backing. So the board, they've got to replicate that and back him uh, to ult, regardless what it takes. Come January transfer window, what you know, what we need strengthening up. Because we as fans can do all what we can, but also it needs to be seen by the board and back him financially and whatever, uh, whatever the lad needs. But as far as uh, going forward with that, you know, uh, give me a tough, take me a tough to all them fans what have uh, got tickets for uh, Fulham. 700 and plus, 740 plus, uh, as we speak, and that's not too bad, you know what I mean? I mean, you look on the situation where we are, plus we we're going into in known, have we got a manager or aren't we? So it's a uh, massive respect for all of those fans, uh, what's going to be going down to Fulham, uh, Peterborough as well, because uh, tickets are selling for them, you know, considering where we, where we are in the league and what's been happening. Recently, people have sh you know shelled out hard earned cash for going down to London, not knowing if we've got uh, a manager, head coach in place. So, a massive respect to them guys and girls. But, yeah, as we speak, we've got a uh, player coming into the club, is bringing assistant in. Whether I'll tell to change it back around, we set up, we don't know yet. But, all what we can say, or what I can say, we're just going off of what I've what, uh, been breaking this morning is that he has put pen to paper, unsure for how long. He's not going to be in charge for the weekend game. It's going to be down to Joseph Lauman. Just a matter of wait and see what, you know, is he going to have any, any kind of input uh, before then. 
We don't know. So it's going to be in charge, uh, taking training sessions uh, Monday. More than likely, he's got to sort his own things out to his own country and take, uh, tidy them up. Uh, appreciate you for watching. Please leave your comments, uh, like and subscribe, notification, everything like that. It helps us out. As soon as we get any content, we can put it straight on. Uh, all my one thing to left to say. You Reds.